Hello and welcome to the Cyber Video Tutorial on Printing from Mark Magic on the AS400 platform. This is only meant to outline the general process for printing, but we will discuss a few of the advanced options, but not all of them. Some of them, like generating a PDF of the label, have their own tutorial available on our website. Starting from the main menu in Mark Magic, press P for print and L for label file. If you are on a runtime license, you want option 8, and from command line, you want to use the PRT LBLF command. The first parameter here that concerns us is label file. This is where you can either name the file that contains the variable data that we will use for our label, or specify how else we will be getting this data. If you just want to print a preview of your label, you can use star layout, and it will be printed exactly as it would show in, in JMagic. One of the more common methods of getting variable data for your print job is by spool files. If you're going to be using a spool file, you need to use star spool file here. And when you press enter, you'll see four additional parameters pop up. Spooled file, job name, user, and number. All four of these are required in order for Mark Magic to find your spool file and access the data. For our example, we're just going to be using a flat file. So we need to change this here to the name of that file, which is tutorial. And when we press enter, those four spool file parameters will go away. Next, we need to provide the name of the format. For us, it is tutorial, so we're going to leave this as it is. Also, the printer device is correct. We're going to be printing to our CW Laser 1 printer. We're going to leave the quantity as star default because we only want to print one of each copy of the label. And the printer type is the printer driver that the format is saved under within Mark Magic, and for us that is HPP CL5. Those are all of the primary parameters that we need to worry about when doing a print in Mark Magic. However, there are some additional parameters that I'd like to go over with you quickly. If you do not see the additional parameters section on your command screen, go ahead and hit F10 and that'll display them. Now, let's press page down until we see hold spooled file. This is something that we in support frequently ask our customers to do when we want to see the code generated by Mark Magic that gets sent to your printer. This is very helpful for us in troubleshooting. When you print out with this option set to yes, you'll have a spool file held in the system that contains this data, so you can then copy it out and send it to us by email. Spooled output queue is how you define your printer if your printers are being set up as remote out queues, which is much more popular with networked printers. And if you page down again, you'll see this rule set name that is available to you if you have the print transformer add-on. Also, this emulated device is also part of our add-ons, and this is how you would go about printing PDFs. But again, there is a separate video tutorial on that available. Now that we have all of our options set, we can press Enter, and Mark Magic will send the print job to your printer. That concludes this tutorial. Thank you very much.